Coming up on this edition of NFL Daily, we'll have the latest on T. Higgins as he's not happy about his situation in Cincinnati. Also got an update on Michael Thomas and where he could be potentially headed in NFL free agency. And what's going on with Micah Hyde? Could he be retiring? We'll let you hear directly from Hyde coming up later on here on today's show. I am the somewhat capable host, Tyler Jones, here with you. Thanks for hanging out here on NFL Daily. Let's start with T. Higgins. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, he is pissed off right now. Did I stutter with that? I did not. No, he is not happy with his situation in Cincinnati. If you recall, he got the franchise tag and after that requested a trade from the Cincinnati Bengals. Ultimately, they did not trade him. He is still around wants to get paid, wants that long-term contract. He has said that he expects to play in Cincinnati this season despite all of this. So where do things stand as far as T. Higgins and his future goes with the Bengals? We'll discuss and let you hear what Adam Schefter had to say in just a moment. Before we do, if you want your favorite team to make the NFL playoffs this season, like the video. Don't jinx it. I have been told that if you like today's video, your team is guaranteed to make the postseason. Now, you may be saying, that's ridiculous, Tyler. Well, why even take a chance on it? Just do your part. Like the video if you want your team to make the playoffs, and we'll get started. Let's begin with what Shefty had to say. This was on NFL Live on Wednesday, a back-and-forth discussion with him and Dan Orlovsky. Shefty said the following in regards to T. Higgins. He's going into the last year of his contract. He's not going to get the money. So what's going to happen, middle of the season, if and when his knee's creaky, his hamstring is tight, his shoulder is sore, is he playing through those injuries weeks before he becomes a free agent, or is he going to make a business decision? Now, with that said, I am of the belief that winning solves everything, okay? Similar situation last year, the Baltimore Ravens did not pay Patrick Queen despite the money that he was wanting. And he requested a trade, wanted out of Baltimore and all that. Well, what do you know? He still had a fantastic season, put his differences aside, and the Ravens had the best record in the AFC. T. Higgins, I think that if the Bengals get off to a good start this year and if they're a contending team, you're not going to have to worry about a lack of effort with T. Higgins. I don't think that his lingering free agency is going to be an issue. I would be surprised if Higgins isn't bowling out in 2024. You look at T. Higgins, and there is some injury history there. This past season, he was held out of five games with a hamstring issue, but he's been consistently solid over the years. He's had four straight seasons with at least 656 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, he's been the number two target behind Jamar Chase there in Cincinnati for the former second-round pick out of, out of Clemson. And you look at the statistics, he's been – very, very good as uh, he's had two 1,000-yard seasons in 2022 and in 2021. And you go back even further to that, uh, he came very close in 2020 with 908 yards and six touchdowns. So he's been very consistent over that stretch. ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, if you recall back in April, reported, there are no plans to trade T. Higgins. That The Cincinnati Bengals are going all in on this year. And if you recall, Trey Hendrickson's name has also come up of wanting out in Cincinnati, right? And with the money that is going to be owed here in the future to Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, I think Zach Taylor and the Cincinnati Bengals are very self-aware that they have a limited window that they need to take advantage of, that this is their year. If they're going to win it all, this is their best chance they're probably going to have in quite some time. So... I would expect that T. Higgins still remains in Cincinnati and still plays at a high level. What do you guys think? Will T. Higgins have a big season with the Bengals? Will he go hard and ball out this year and then put himself in position for a big payday next offseason? Let me know what you think. It's our pinned comment today. Why for yes, in for no. Chime in the comment section. Let us know what you think if Higgins is going to have a big year or not. Could Michael Thomas be on his way to Denver, Bleacher Report is suggesting that the former Saints wide receiver could be on his way to the Denver Broncos, reuniting with his former head coach, Sean Payton. Listen to this. 
There's only one fit, because if there's a player that is as washed as hell, no one should want to sign him. It's Michael Thomas. But if there's a head coach that was a GM that were to sign Michael Thomas, it'd be none other than his former coach, Sean Payton. Look, if we're going to be honest here, Michael Thomas, he's cooked. He's washed. He has literally nothing left in the tank, nothing good to offer any of these NFL teams at this point in his career. But based on the moves the Broncos have made uh, and with how, how should I say this, the uh, moves that I are, I'm not necessarily fond of, the decisions that they've made within that organization, I would not be shocked at all if Sean Payton feels like, you know what, that's the guy we should go get is Michael Thomas here. Previously with the Saints for 2016 and 2023, it wasn't too long ago, he was the NFL's Offensive Player of the Year back in 2019. A three-time Pro Bowler, a two-time first-team All-Pro selection back in that 2019 season when he was Offensive Player of the Year. But it has been a long road for Michael Thomas the last few years. He has not looked like himself since that great 2019 season. The stats for Michael Thomas, as you can see last year, just 39 catches, less than 500 yards, only one touchdown grab. And then the previous two seasons, 2020 and 2022, obviously he had the injury in 2021, only played a combined 10 games in those two seasons. So could be an opportunity for the Broncos to get Thomas on a discount. What do you think? Will Denver sign Michael Thomas? Type S for sign, type P for pass. Let us know in the comment section below. We are covering the National Football League each and every day here on NFL Daily with the latest happenings across the league with daily NFL news and rumors. We're bringing you live shows twice a week, and we are telling you everything you need to know. Your off-season headquarters is right here on NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Subscribe now for free. Doesn't cost you a thing. Stay up to date with everything going on across the NFL. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV to subscribe for free. Never miss a moment. We got you covered. Subscribe now. Micah Hyde, he remains available in free agency. And when he spoke to the media this past week, Hyde suggested that his NFL future might be over with. He was pretty clear. He said it's going to be one of two things. He is either going to retire or he is going to return to the Buffalo Bills, who just released him, if you recall, a while back. Here's more of what Micah Hyde had to say, courtesy of WGRZ. When asked about his future, Hyde said, I really don't know, you guys, how difficult it was with my neck and having those stingers. So I just said, let me get away from it for a little bit. And if time comes and the juices get flown again, then we'll try to give it a spin. But there's no rush at all on my end. You look at the Buffalo Bills. This is a team that is now paying Josh Allen a lot of money. And they've lost a lot this offseason on both sides of the ball. If I'm the Buffalo Bills, I am hoping and praying that Micah Hyde can get healthy and that he can return to this team. Because right now, the Buffalo Bills, they are a desperate football team, and I think they're desperate for the services of Micah Hyde to help out this defense. A two-time second-team All-Pro as recently as 2021, a Pro Bowler back in 2017, previously with the Bills and the Packers. Uh, this Bills team could certainly use Micah Hyde, and although he hasn't been the all-pro that he was a couple of years ago, he's still coming off a solid campaign in 2023 where he had two interceptions, seven pass breakups, 54 tackles. You go back to 2021, he was a turnover machine with five interceptions, 10 pass breakups, also had 74 tackles there. So he's lost a step, but if he can get healthy, I think he's still got something for the Bills to offer. What will Micah Hyde do? This upcoming season, will he return to Buffalo? Will he retire? Or will he ultimately end up playing for somebody else? Weigh in the comments section. Let us know what you think happens with Micah Hyde. Thanks for joining us here on this edition of NFL Daily. If you enjoyed today's show, you'll want to see your team in the playoffs. Like the video. We certainly would appreciate it. And we shall see you next time right here on NFL Daily. 